Okay, so we said that databases um, model, and I showed you how they model. We said that databases store, I showed you how they store information. We said that databases query and retrieve information, and I showed you how we query them and how we retrieve them using a standard, really a standard thing that goes across all databases, which is the structured query language. And I showed you only really the tip of the SQL, the structured query language iceberg. There's tons more to know, but I'd like you to know at least this much about it and to be able to figure out these queries. All right, so the final thing I want to do is to return to something we looked at earlier. And now you can see the final result. So when I get back these results, like I just showed you, it's just a table, right? It's like, it's like an Excel spreadsheet or something like that. That's not going to make a web page. That's not going to make, um, you know, that's not what I want to see. What I want to see is a nice web page with formatting and stuff like that. So there's one more step I have to take. I have to go from that set of results, those rows that I got back from my query, to some presentation of the information on a nice web page where it's all, you know, perfectly formatted. Um, and so I showed you this, this slide earlier under the life cycle of information. And I want to return to it now to show you that this is, how it, this is how it works. I have all this information in my rows. Now, don't worry that the rows are a little bit, you know, they're, they're a little bit, um, the format of these rows is a little bit different than the one before because this is from an earlier slide deck. But the idea is really the same. I grab the information from the results and I place it at different places on the page. And if you remember from before, there's a couple of points to be made from this. First is that the name, or the first is that the, the information on the web page is nicely formatted. The information in the table is just kind of no formatting at all, right? So I have that name Bob Boyko up there and it's big and bold, but it wasn't big and bold in the database. It was just as it is in the database. When I put it on the page, it's nice and big and bold. It's formatted in the way that I want it to be. That's item, that's point number one. Point number two is I don't have to display all the information that I get back. For example, I got back birthday. I got back birthday from my query, but it's nowhere on the page because I chose not to display it on the page. I didn't feel like it. There was no reason for it, or maybe I used to and I decided against it, and so it's just sitting out there now. The third point to be made is the same piece of information, in this case address, can be shown in two different places on the page. I can use that piece of information as many times as I want, including no times at all, I can put it anywhere I want on the page and I can have it look however I want. 